All right, you guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. i um, super excited for today's video because I'm gonna be using this Juvia's Place Full Coverage Foundation. Um, this is the look that we're gonna be doing today, a little bit more neutral. Um, I'll stray from my pinks today just for you guys, but no promises on the next one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've got a couple new palettes that we'll try out for the next video. Um, but yeah, this is the look we're gonna go with today, so let's get started. All right, you guys, so I'm just going to take my foundation here, and I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. I'm not going to start out, that is a decent amount, but it's really not a whole lot, and I'm going to take my Pinnacle Foundation Brush by Anissa Beauty, and I'm just going to kind of even this out on my brush, and I've already primed my face. I used my Kylie Cosmetics Primer, so I'm going to get this even. Okay. That's definitely full coverage, and this is definitely way too pale for me. They have um, a little thing on there to help you find your shade, and I really thought this was going to work out. It looked perfect online, so be careful for that. And like I said, this is definitely full coverage, you guys. Some people paint on paper. I paint my face. <laughs> okay, so I want you guys to see how much is still left on my hand. It did not take much of that foundation at all. I was a little worried when I first saw how small the bottle is, but that's going to last me a while, I'm sure. Um, and I didn't even mention, I got the shade 710, and this stuff's really interesting. It actually has dried a little bit darker. Um, if I go over, I don't know if you guys can see, but it goes back on a little bit lighter still whenever I put my brush back over my foundation, and then it still dries a little bit darker. Um, since this is a matte um, finish, it's definitely a little bit drier. So if you are prone to dry skin, I would just definitely make sure that you're moisturizing um, before you use this. It also seems just a little, just the slightest bit patchy with my um, foundation brush here. So I'm going to go over it with a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to lightly go over my entire face with this. Alright, I'm going to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics concealer here in the shade Gypsum. This concealer is definitely a little wet and a little tacky, so I'm going to go a little bit lighter since this foundation is a little more dry and matte. I'm not going to go quite as heavy so that I don't risk anything getting kind of muddy or anything like that. I'm going to take my Pinnacle, sorry not my Pinnacle, my Anissa Beauty concealer brush and we're just going to blend this all out. Once again, notice I'm always tapping, always tapping the product in. Okay, I didn't add anything to my brush. I'm just going to take it through here where we get any shadows. Help brighten that up just a little bit and up the sides of my nose. And if you guys have problems with creasing under your eyes here like I do, like most people do, I mean we're human, come on, um, <laughs> just make sure that you have those blended out as much as you can before you set it with any powder. Blend those out as much, get your concealer in there, um, and then really press that powder in, really press it in, and that will really help keep it from creasing. Okay, so some of you had mentioned last time that you wanted to see me bake. Um, like I said, I still use my... Kylie Cosmetics. I've actually got some ColourPop soft pink powder on the way, so I'll do a little comparison with those two and see which I think is better in my opinion anyways. Um, so I've got my soft pink powder here and my damp beauty blender. And I'm just going to tap some of this into the lid here. I'm getting a little low, so I've got that ColourPop coming soon. We'll test that one out. If I had more powder here, this would be a lot brighter. There we go. It's a little bit better. All right, so we're just going to really kind of, you don't want to just keep going over and over and over it because then it's just going to get really messy. We don't want that. Um, but we're just going to really kind of pack that under both of our eyes, and then I do down my um under my cheekbones here. Sometimes I'll do my forehead and my chin, but I don't all the time. It kind of depends on 
the products that I'm using, which I don't think I will today since that foundation was a little bit more dry. Okay, so I've got all my powder set where I want to bake, um, which that's just going to kind of, the heat from my skin is going to heat that up a little bit. And it's going to help it set into the skin like we want it to, and it's going to help brighten those areas and kind of contour before we actually even contour. Um, I'm going to take my Kylie Cosmetics Translucent Powder here now and my Multi Powder Brush by Anissa Beauty, and I'm going to use this to set the rest of my face. Um, once again, I'm just going to tap this press it in and even though I'm baking under my eyes sometimes I'll still I won't add anything to it I'll just lightly take my concealer brush back over those creases that I get under my eyes and I'll use my brush to and press some of this some of this um, translucent powder under there as well sorry I totally just kicked my tripod so let me try not to knock all this stuff over Alright you guys, so I just finished setting the rest of my face with my translucent powder, just really pressing that in anywhere that I did not bake. Um, I'm going to do my eyeshadow now before I um, brush away any of that loose powder so that we can brush away any fallout that we might have from our eyeshadow, um, which today I'm going to be using this Artist in the Muse palette by KKW Beauty. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. The shades are so pigmented. I absolutely love it. So we're going to do a little more of a neutral look today since... I went like all out pink last time, which you guys be ready because I'm like really, I've got something with pink right now. I don't really know what's happening. So um, just be prepared, but I'll do some natural looks today. Um, and I meant to mention in my last video why I didn't do any like winged liner um, or any eyeliner at all. And I'm actually a little upset. I've got my Kai liner here by Kylie Cosmetics, of course. I used it a couple of times and I really liked it and it seems like it's already drying out on me so I'm a little upset. Um, I'll buy another one and see how it does. Hopefully it doesn't do that but I don't know. We'll kind of see but I can barely even get a wing done with this right now so I'm not going to use it today sadly um, but we'll do kind of a smoked out liner with um, just a pencil eyeliner today um, with some brown. Alright so I've been baking for just a minute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe away what was down here. But we'll leave what's under our eyes to wipe away any fallout once again. Um, I'm going to go in with my Artist in the Muse palette. And I'm not going to really use a ton of these shades, to be honest. I'm going to keep it pretty simple today. So we're going to go in with this shade here for all over our lid. I'm just going to take my e.l.f. Cosmetics Eye Crease Brush. And we're going to start tapping that all over the lid. Okay, so I got my full lids covered with that shade and I brought it up in through my crease just a little bit and I wiped my brush off really well and I'm going to take this same brush with no product on it and I'm just going to use this to kind of buffer that out just a little bit before we go in with our lighter shade to really blend that out. And we don't want to take this too high. We don't want to bring it really any higher than it is. We're really just kind of diffusing the edge here. Alright, so I've got that blended out just a little bit. I'm going to go in with this kind of yellow shade here called Look Up. We're going to take that just lightly. And we're going to start to tap that right above where that darker shade stops. And this really isn't to make it look yellow. It's just going to kind of look like a lighter transition from that um, darker shade. It's got kind of an orangish undertone, that darker shade that we started out with, so these two blend together very nicely. So you can definitely see a difference here, but it's not like it just looks like I just slapped some yellow eyeshadow up here. Okay, so I'm really not having any fallout with this eyeshadow, so I'm going to go ahead and lightly brush this powder away doing it super light and then I'm even just going to kind of press it in all right all right I'm going to go in with this lightest shade in the palette here called so many paparazzi and we're going to take that and we're going to place that just at the very highest point on our brow bone 
and then just kind of bring any extra over this way and in. Then I always kind of come down around the outer edge of any of my eyeshadow just to really blend that into the rest of my face. All right, guys. Like I said, super easy look today. I'm going to take this. This is just an e.l.f. eyebrow duo brush. I'm going to take this. You can really kind of see how that end is really thin and pointed there. And this is what I like to use um, for under my eye. We're going to take that first shade that we started out with here, this shade here, and we're going to run this just under our bottom lash line. And I'm just going to go about halfway. All right, I'm going to take this little bit fluffier eye crease brush and we're going to go into this yellow shade here and we're going to use that again under our bottom lash line to help diffuse that shade out that we just placed. All right, I'm going to take this CoverGirl um, Perfect Blend Pencil Eyeliner. This is the shade 110 Black Brown. And we're going to do just kind of a rough um, line here at our top lash line. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to blend it out anyways. So I'm going to take the other end of this brush here and we're going to use this little sponge to, oh, I'm going to knock my whole tripod over you guys. I'm so sorry. We're going to use this to really blend this out. I don't really want to bring it up high. So I'm just kind of blending to the side here and making sure that that reaches all the way down to my lash line. Right, so I got those blended out you can kind of see there's still just a little bit of a hard line there that I really don't want so I don't have anything on my brush I'm just lightly going over this right at the edge there where that liner stops just to kind of blend that into the shadow a little bit more okay I'm gonna go through and do my eyebrows right now um, I use Right now I'm using this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. I've liked it for a while, but I'm kind of starting to really not know how I feel about it. I don't know. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's my eyebrows. Um, which I'm actually thinking about getting my eyebrows laminated. If any of you guys have ever tried that, please let me know. I'm so curious. I've already found a girl, and it's actually somebody at the same place that I get my face sugared. So that's super convenient, and it's really making me want to try it because I feel like I don't have a reason not to. If you guys don't know what it is, it's kind of like perming your eyebrows. It's going to make them stay up really straight instead of all coming to the side like this, which mine kind of start out like that, but they don't ever stay. I got so distracted talking about that. I didn't even say anything about how I do my eyebrows. Um, right now, I just kind of do this really straight edge here. And then I use the other in here to blend that up. And then I brush down right here and I just kind of give myself a little bit more of an arch. That's really it. For now. <laughs> See the difference in the arch? Alright, so I just finished my eyebrows and I'm looking pretty ghostly right now. So we're going to bring some life back to this face. Um, I'm going to grab my Kylie Cosmetics bronzer here in the shade Toasty. And I'm just going to take my little angled fluffy brush here. And we're going to take this. I usually do with the angle point down. And then just kind of tap and pull up slightly. And 
and then just roll lightly over our hairline here. All right, once again, I just kind of pinched the end of my brush here and I don't even know if I would call it contouring. I just lightly do down the sides of the bridge of my nose. Alright, I'm going to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics. This is the Pink Dreams Blush. And we're just going to keep this kind of higher up on our cheeks here. Just to add a little more color to my entire face since that foundation was just a little on the pale side. Alright, now I'm going to go in with this little fluffy Eco Tools brush and my Kylie Cosmetics um, Sunday Brunch. Yeah, Sunday Brunch highlighter here. I love this stuff. This stuff is so beautiful. I hope you guys can see that. Oh yeah. That is it. I'm actually going to use this as well for my inner corner since I totally forgot to do that because that is something I really like for some reason is a really bright inner corner, which actually... I'll show you guys today what I was talking about, about making it brighter. I'll take my, this is my Kylie Cosmetics um, setting spray here. I'm just going to spray a little bit on my brush. Oops, I'm going to drop my brush first. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to spray a little bit on my brush here. You really only need one spray. I just did two because I missed the first time. <laughs> so we're going to take that. I just tap it off just a little bit so it's not actually dripping wet. And we're going to take this highlighter here. Look at that. I barely even touched that so far. We're going to get that super bright in our quarter. And because of that setting spray, that ain't going nowhere. Alright you guys, almost done. Um, I just need to do my eyelashes and then my lips. And I think that's about it. And some setting spray, um, which I totally forgot to do my setting spray last time too. Oh no, sometimes I don't do it because I prefer that kind of more matte look. And this is an illuminating spray. Um, so maybe I just didn't want to use it last time. I don't really remember. But I'm going to use it today. Um, I'm going to go through and curl my lashes first. Which, once again, I don't do false lashes. But I've really kind of been wanting to try them out. I think it'll just make my eyes look so much better and really pop at least for my videos not like on a day-to-day -day basis because that's just a little too much for me but i will hopefully try some out here soon we'll see all right so i'm gonna go in with my absolute favorite uh, maybelline lash sensational here and this is like the blackest black I think is literally what it's called maybe um I say that and I'm not quite sure something's called that okay one of my products is called blackest black and it's the darkest shade that you can get um it has to be this guys I can't think of what else it would be so we're gonna go in with this mascara here that is absolutely incredible uh, I love this stuff you guys if you haven't tried it, please do. Okay, 
so I finished my lashes. I just lightly went over my bottom lashes. Um, I have a few different eyeliners on the way um, that I'm really excited for that will play out with whenever they get here, hopefully in the next couple days, um, and some for my waterline. I'm super excited. I got like some bright pink. Of course I got some bright pink. You guys already know. Um, so I'm really excited to do some looks with those. Um, let me do my setting spray real quick, and then we will do our lips. Like I said, this is her Illuminating um, Setting Spray by Kylie Cosmetics. She does have one that's not illuminating, but it was out of stock at the time, and I'm super impatient, so I just got this. Um, so we're going to hold this far away and just do, it says three or four pumps. I find myself doing like five or six or seven or ten. No, not really that much because I'm not trying to soak my face, but just be easy. <laughs> Okay. I'm literally going to rewatch that and count because I don't know how many sprays I did. Okay. And that spreading, that setting spray is really nice. Um, it doesn't feel like super sticky or anything like that, but at the same time, it actually feels like it's going to keep your makeup, um, in place intact and keep everything looking fresh. I actually really like the setting spray. Since we did more of a neutral, um, some brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna do this Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Coconut. And that's a little dull, but it'll be alright. We're just gonna do kind of a rough outline. So I think I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. Uh, like I said, I really like using these lip liners just as pretty much lipstick sometimes. So I'm going to fill in my lips. And then so it's not so dry feeling, I'm going to go over them with a clear gloss. And remember, if you want that like super precise, really straight line, you can always go through. I'll just sometimes take my tiny little concealer brush here with the slightest amount of product and really clean up and make sure that is perfect. All right, so I'm going to take this Crystal High Gloss by Kylie Cosmetics. It's literally just a clear gloss. Um, I don't want to get anything on the applicator, so I'm going to put some on the back of my hand here. And then I'm going to take a small little brush. I'm actually going to use that concealer brush. We can always clean it off. And we're just going to go over that with that gloss so it's not so dry feeling. All right, you guys. Well, that is the look today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That lip liner with that high gloss matches this eyeshadow like perfectly. So I'm loving this right now. Um, that foundation was really nice. I'll see how it is over the next few hours. If it feels like it's drying out or anything, um, I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, I did just get a couple new eyeshadow palettes as well um, from ColourPop. So I will most likely be using one of these in my next video. Um, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will hopefully have another video up here soon. Um, so stick around. Love you guys.